And now, we are continuing our discussion that we started yesterday with Ansi regarding dog bites and why do dogs potentially bite. But before we get there, we d there's a, a story in the news this morning, Ansi, about a husky crossbreed that swallowed a tennis ball whole. Now, this is not a tennis ball, but uh, I mean, this is a little bit smaller, but still, to swallow a tennis ball whole, is, is, is that even it's, normal? It's and, and has something to do with huskies? You know, huskies, there's something about huskies. I have a client with a husky who has swallowed, I think, seven pairs of socks to date. Oh, no. I don't know what it is. It's, it's yeah. something about a husky. It's and I mean, look at that cookie. Puppies. There's, the, there's the, the, yeah. the tennis ball yeah. in the x-ray. It's whole. I can't believe it. I didn't it. hear how old the dog was, but if it's an adolescent, that is pretty typical. I think it's pretty young. very hyper. Yes. And they just, just like, you know, they're not even thinking where the ball is and they've yeah. over grabbed it and oh, down it word. goes. Yeah, and as you can see, it looks like a young, yeah. a young dog. Yeah. But I mean, Adolescent fortunately... Adolescent dogs, yeah. Exactly. You want to be careful what size toys you get your dogs. They need to be appropriate sizes. Okay. But yes, you'd think a tennis ball would be appropriate for a husky. <laughs> get a big toy for, for a husky, but luckily Pax, uh, his name is Pax, he's, he's all fine. Okay, so let's continue our discussion we started yesterday. Very big topic, hence we, I think it deserves a second shot. Um, just quick to recap for people that maybe missed out yesterday, what are some of the warning signs if you are confronted with a dog that will potentially bite you? Uh, what do you look out for? Well, quite likely the ears are definitely going to be pinned back. The whites of the eyes are going to show okay, um, okay. because they're, they're getting quite serious about it and there's the whole focus going yes. on there. The mouth is likely to be a rounded, pouted shape with the teeth okay. showing rather than a smile. A smile is more indicative of a warning. Yeah. Poutedness, they're going to bite. Yeah. Um, and then the, the hairs on the, on the, on on the back, back of the dog lines. will likely be raised yeah. as well. What we didn't mention yesterday also is if, if you're touching a dog yes. or about to touch a dog and suddenly there's this frozen moment uh -huh. Uh -huh. and followed by a direct stare at you, you are going to get bitten. Okay. All right. So the best bet there would be very slowly to turn your body sideways and very slowly back, back off and away. do not look at the dog. All right. Great. Try and dispel yeah. that whole But it's, I moment. think it's safe to assume that you'll be You're facing a scary sight you know, when you trouble. see a dog like that. Okay, so we spoke about possessiveness and prey, prey as being two, yeah. two reasons why dogs would potentially bite. Now, that's not the only two reasons. No, there are a few more. Um, fear, funny enough, tops up the list quite hectically. Um, I'm sure that fight or flight yeah, type of thing. Yeah. Fear is, 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 is a sad thing um, because it looks like the dog's incredibly aggressive, but in fact, he's just fear driven. He's <laughs> just so scared. It's a shame, poor boy. Yeah. Um, and that comes from not socializing as a youngster. Okay. Um, so you definitely want to tell your children to stay away from unfamiliar dogs. Yeah. Strange dogs do not go up to them. And please don't hug them. Okay. Is it, hugging is a human thing, it's yeah. so not a dog thing. A dog okay. thing will see it as a, a serious. Um, a front. I can imagine. Um, not a good thing. Right. Um, and if you can, socialize, not if you can, you must socialize your dogs at a young age. Then all that fear, that, that um, prone mm. to building up these issues yeah. won't happen. All right, so fear, yeah. fear definitely one of them pain. as well. Pain and is pain. another one, particularly with older dogs too, and hip dysplasia, any chronic illness. Because they're in pain, you, you want to tell your children to to handle your older dogs very gently and stay away from the sore areas. Pain will make them le latch out and bite. Of course, and yeah. And if suddenly you have a dog who, do, or not suddenly have yeah. a dog, but you have a dog that suddenly starts being nippy, yeah. you might want to take your dog to the vet. There might be okay. something going on with pain involved. Yeah, all right. Well, quickly, um, just before we move on, we, we <laughs> there's so much to talk about. Yes. Just quickly, a top tip of yours to teach your dog maybe not to bite. I mean, where should you start? From puppy, obviously, I think. Yeah, I think the most important thing to avoid Dog bites generally, it, yeah. it does start at home with you being a responsible dog owner. Okay. And you definitely want to spay or neuter your dog. Take that edge off. You don't want nervous energy lying around. Okay. Um, number two, you definitely want to exercise um, your dog for mm. the same reasons um, and to build that human-animal bond. Okay. Um, you definitely want to... Um, and I've gone blank. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I think the major thing to understand, it starts at home with a puppy and how yes. you raise it. That way yeah. you'll, you'll teach a dog not to bite yeah. when he's older. Training, training, training. You want exactly. to be in control of the dog. Exactly. You definitely want to train them. You need to know the basics. Sit down, wait, stay. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Um, Auntie, thank you so much and just giving us that info. Of course, don't forget about... Uh, and socialising. Don't forget socialising. Socialising is a very Please, good one. Socialise your dogs. Don't forget that. Well, well on the point of socialisation, Bobtail is giving you the chance to socialise in style because they have a great competition where you could win yourself a Land Rover Defender 110 and 1 million rands worth of family adventure prizes like boxing, kayaking, horse riding and much more. So all you have to do is buy any participating Bobtail promotional dry dog food bag and SMS the last four digits of the barcode on the swing tag to 40511. That's 40511. The competition runs up until the end of the uh, end of September. Now, talking about dog bite, a little bit later on, we're going to take a look at a badger that most probably will bite you, and then you'll tweet about it, saying how you ran away with your tail between your legs. So <laughs> tune in for that. It's about at 6.35 this morning. Right now, it's over to Alana, who's completely harmless, and she promised she would not bite. <laughs> Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs.